my channel. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more video updates. Welcome to Teacher Ale YouTube channel. Our most essential learning is the cert accompaniments and hygienic procedures. Our objectives for today are the following. Number one, identify the cert accompaniment. Number two, determine the factors and guidelines in plating and presenting the cert. Number three, follow the hygienic procedures in plating and presenting the cert. Today, let us talk all about how to plate the cert. In this lesson, pag-aaralan natin ang tungkol sa dessert accompaniments and hygienic procedures. What do you mean by accompaniments? Accompaniments are generally flavor food and sauces offered with specific main dishes. Appropriate accompaniment enhances the flavor of the dish by providing a balance and contrast to the taste. Why do we need a dessert accompaniments? Dessert accompaniments is used in garnishing dessert to be able to add appeal in the presentation of a dessert. So dessert plating, we have what we call accompaniments, garnishes, and decorations for desserts. Number one, dessert syrup. Dessert syrup flavored simple syrup used to moisten cake, like chocolate syrup. Second, cream anglaise, stirred vanilla custard sauce, consists of milk, sugar, egg yolk, and vanilla. Stirred over low heat until lightly thickened. Third, pastry cream. Contains starch as well as eggs, resulting in a much thicker and more stable product. Number four, custards. Consists of milk, sugar, eggs, and flavorings. Custard is a variety of culinary preparations based on a cooked mixture of milk or cream and egg or egg yolk. Example, na ginagamitan ng custard is the banana custard and cheesecake. In plating dessert, narito naman ang madalas gamitin pagdating sa plating presentation. Four garnishes that add wow factor. Number one, fruit garnish. Number two, nut garnish. Number three, chocolate garnish. And four, cookie garnish. Dessert should turn heads in the dining room. Garnishing and plating dessert should be an afterthought. It should be an integral part of how you build your image. That's why we need to follow the guidelines in plating dessert. Number one, make garnishes edible. Lahat ng makikita sa plate natin, kailangan nakakain. Lahat ng gagamitin natin garnishes, dapat nakakain. Example ng nasa larawan. Number two, keep it clean and simple. Don't crowd the plate. If your dessert is beautiful, it should not need a lot of garnishes. Sabi nga, simplicity is beauty. Number 3. Make your garnishes relate to the dessert on the plate. For example, the only time you should garnish with fresh mint is if you're serving mint ice cream. Another example, if you garnish the ice cream mango, pwede mong gamitin ang sliced mango. Number 4. Layer flavors and textures in your dessert. Textures and flavor hit the palate of different times. Ask yourself, how can I make this better? All the components on the plate should build on the dessert. Make it better. Number five, try different plates. 
White plates are common because it makes the garnishes more visible. Common na ginagamit sa plating, kahit anong plating ng food, is color white. Para kitang-kita mo yung disenyo ng bawat pagkain. Various sizes and shapes is also considered. The right plate can add or enhance the theme really well. General Plating Techniques and Food This is the general plating techniques and food. Mapa-dessert man ito o hindi. This is needed in plating dessert for better plating presentation. Number 1. The Plate The plate is the frame of presentation. Food should not be crowded into the plate. Pinapakita ng illustration sa ibaba kung paano ang plating na isang pagkain. Mapa-dessert man ito o hindi. Sa loob ng green na bilog, dyan dapat natin ilagay ang pagkain. Yun namang nasa labas na board ng bilog, that is what we call rim of plate. May dalawang dahilan kung bakit hindi dapat lumampas ang pagkain sa rim ng plate. Una, to avoid overcrowding of food. Second, to avoid food contamination. Kasi madalas hawakan ng kamay ang rim ng plate. Number two, color. Variety of colors on the plate is important. Always consider color in plating dessert, lalong nagiging appetizing sa kakain kung makulay ang pagkain na kahanda. Number 3. Texture. Contrasting hard and soft, smooth and porous, add visual interest to the food. Texture kailangan contrast ang ating texture. First, meron tayong soft. Second, meron tayong moist. Third, meron tayong crispy. Fourth, meron tayong smooth. Okay, kailangan huwag natin kakalimutan ang bawat guidelines na ito. Number 4, keeping things clean. Remember that neatness count. Food should be contained within the rim of the plate. In plating dessert, yung neatness is yan sa number 1 na tinitingnan. You always keep that plate clean. Number 5, garnish to impress. Garnishes and decorations can enhance your plate decoration. Choose garnishes that appropriate to the dessert. For example, using a chocolate curl for chocolate cake. Another example, using sliced mango for mango ice cream. Sana nagustuhan nyo ang ating video lesson ngayon. If you like the video, please give us a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you on my next video. Bye! Thank you for watching. Bye! Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for my video updates.